It's going on, Tente. Thank you very much for staying with Morning Live. As we continue to reflect on June 16, as well as a look ahead to the commemorations that will be happening around the country, let's take a look at this. A group of young filmmakers born in a post-democratic South Africa in 1994 have paid tribute to the class of 76. As we mark 40 years since the Soweto student uprising, students at a Johannesburg film and television school, AFTA, have reflected on the legacy of the generation of Hector Peterson and Tsietsi Mashinini. AFDA, a leading film and television school founded in 1994 at the dawn of the new dispensation. AFDA has been churning out award-winning filmmakers. This is Maliswan in Twani. She is one of a group of up-and-coming filmmakers who were all born in 1994. And their latest project, a documentary called Who Did I Raise? It interrogates the burning issue of parental abuse. But we want people to know that these things do happen. And we want parents who like go through the situation to know that it's okay to talk about it. Because talking does bring like healing, you know. Who Did I Raise comes at a time South Africa grapples with family murders. Just this week, two young men were arrested after being accused of killing their parents in the Northwest and Stellenbosch respectively. <laughs> We did a lot of research. We realized that it was a very subtle issue, like people didn't speak about it. And I think our documentary came at the right time, you know, because um, now people are starting to talk about it. Drug abuse was one of the main, the main uh, problems within our documentary. And the causes of drug abuse were also mentioned. And we can, we can clearly state for the, like, um, the disconnect between a parent and a child. Um, it's just that we don't spend enough time with each other. Well, she's a Tosa mother, I'm also a Tosa, and when she was speaking in this course, I felt like I could relate with her so much because she's like, yo, mama, I'm so sorry. You know, I felt that sorry in my heart, you know, as she was speaking. But I had to keep professional and I had to keep shooting her. You know, I'm shooting her tears, but it's also hitting me hard. So, yeah. In my short, you know, my short per period of being involved in this industry, I realized that issues such as this type of abuse are not reported as much. We always want to talk about what America is talking about. We always want to talk about what other continents are talking about. However, we never stick to home. And as we mark Youth Day and Youth Month, these born frees say the class of 1976 laid the foundation for them. It's a very concrete foundation that we can now develop and make it better and work on it and bring our juice to the 1976 generation. Mm -hmm. They've laid a very good foundation for us. We should not um, succumb to stereotypes and live up to what people expect of us. We should actually try to push ourselves and do more and believe in ourselves more in order for us to create something big and leave a legacy behind. It's very important for us to understand that we are the future of this country and we need to hold the ball as if we are the next kings, you know. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it, it, it had a big impact on South Africa, the 1976 thing. And it's, a still, it's still an ongoing um, effect that's, that's happening now. They are hoping their documentary will spark national dialogue that will help put an end to the abuse of parents by their children. Who did I raise addresses critical issues that are happening in our society. The documentary will be shown on Saturday here at AFDA. Janjicha Uke, SABC News, Johannesburg.